Okay, this is going to be a really quick movie about um, how I care for my goldfish. I'm just going to go through really quickly what I use, what the basic stuff is, and what are some other accessories you can get to care for your goldfish. Um, I use a lot of things to care for that 30 gallon tank. It's a planted tank. Um, the basic that basic things you're going to need um, is a net or you, I, I recommend getting two sizes of nets if you can't reach in between some of the areas of your tank use a smaller one. So you're going to need a net um, you're going to need your filter cartridges depending on what filter you have. Um, you're going to need a, a, a basic aquarium guide a gravel vac and you want at least a pH test kit and an ammonia test kit. You do not have to have this nitrite testing kit but it's good to have. Um, and of course you're going to need your fish food and some of the start rate stuff. Um, let's see, that's pretty much the basic stuff. Um, depending on if you have a planted aquarium or not, you want to get some of this um, Fluoropride Tetra Plant uh, 003 Analysis uh, Plant Fertilizer. It's liquid plant fertilizer. Blah, fertilizer. And um, another thing that's good to have is aquarium salt. Um, I use that in my aquarium as well. Now depending on what kind of fish you have, if you have any um, fish that like algae, um, you can get algae wafers uh, for them. And some other good chemicals to have, this is not basic stuff. Um, you might want to have some AccuClear or, or any kind of cloudy water stuff is good to have. Um, some non-basic things which are good to have, which I think are good to have, is um, like an algae scrubber. It's good to get one with a long handle so you don't have to stick your hand in the tank with a sponge or even a small hand algae scrubber. It's just good to have. Um, you can use a sponge if you have uh, aquarium safe gloves. Um, some other things I like to add into my filtering system is uh, activated carbon. What I do is I take this little film canister, poke a hole in the bottom, and fill it with activated carbon, and then place it in the filter system. I also like to use these bio balls. I put them in a thing like this, and then place it in the filter as well. Um, let's see. Something else that's not basic, but it's good to have, is a nitrite testing kit. Um, I'm going to use this for my aquaponic system over there, but I will use it for my aquarium as well. Um, another thing which is good to have is like a breeding trap or a breeding uh, box. I use that for my fish when they're sick, like one or two of them is sick. I place them uh, in a divided um, breeder box uh, to keep them safe from the other fish. Now another thing which you can have, you don't need it in a 10 gallon tank, um, but it's also good to have is an air pump with an air stone. Um, any size pump will do. Uh, some of them are so small that they might not work towards the bottom of the tank so to keep that air stone towards the top um, and then you, you might want other things like I use this toothbrush to scrub the corners of the tank to get algae out and you can get other things like a gang valve and stuff like that um, and that's pretty much it uh, on the stuff you're gonna need you also might want to have some spare bulbs for your aquarium I use these for the 10 gallon aquarium and that's pretty much um, everything you're gonna need as far as the stuff for goldfish, um, that both those things are goldfish food. Um, and then depending on if you have plants, you want to get liquid plant fertilizer or uh, plant tabs or anything like that. Um, I also use these algae wafers for my shrimp. Uh, I bought a two-inch algae eating shrimp, so I use those for him as well, and he, he likes those. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, some other good things to have in your aquarium is a thermometer. Um, I preferably like to use one on each side of the tank just to make sure the temperature is even. The water is a little cloudy right now because um, I have to use some of that chemical stuff. But it's really good to have. Uh, he, I, in, in the 10 gallon tank I don't use the thermometer. I just put my hand in and I know what the temperature of like 75 is. Um, but it's good to have uh, for any tank. Now you can get other things like uh, power heads or pumps. I use this one uh, for surface agitation to the water, um, which is really good uh, to let in oxygen to the water. Um, let's see, like I said, you're going to need an air stone. This is the, the pump, the air pump I use. It's large. Um, it's perfect for a 30 gallon. Uh, other things you can use as accessories is a um, CO2 system. I use this for my live plants. You don't have to have it for live plants, but it really does help them grow. Um, and I just installed this check valve. I know the arrow is pointing the other way, but for some reason, it's not working the other way. It's not letting out any CO2. Um, then you can get other things like filter accessories. I put on this piece that covers the strainer and the tube that comes down from the filter. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. 
Um, I use that for extra filtration. And then you can also make things. This is called my biofilter, and I fill it with um, these. They're almost like bio balls, but they're uh, see-through. And they uh, they work good. Um, I actually don't have it connected right now because my aquaponic system is using the pump for that. Uh, but that's pretty much all you're going to need. Uh, like if I recommend, I don't have it yet, but if you have a planted aquarium, you want to get some kind of substrate for the bottom underneath the gravel for your plants. I don't have it yet, so I do need to get it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, I do have some tropical fish in there. Uh, I do keep the temperature at like 70, 75 degrees. Um, so, depending on what kind of creatures or anything you have in your tank, you want to be able to feed them the proper diet, which is, that's the most important thing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'll do a more detailed uh, kind of goldfish care video. Uh, when I don't have such a low battery in my uh, camera, but that's uh, that's pretty much it. I'll just give you a minute and see if I can come up with anything else that I need to talk about. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but the shrimp, you want to make sure they have a good diet, or if you have algae or any kind of stuff for them to pick through on the bottom. I mean, they'll be okay with like flakes and stuff, but I, I like to make sure they have a good diet. Because I'm, I'm trying to grow shrimp really huge um, so that my fish won't eat them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's like this This tank doesn't have an air stone in it. Uh, it's, you don't need one in a 10 gallon tank. I'm, I am going to add one in. Um, but I just don't have the pump hooked up right now. The, the air pump port's actually on the aquaponic system. And the light that I was using uh, for that is on the aquaponic system too. Um, and you don't have to have a, like a breeding uh, trap or anything like that for your fish. Um, you can use separate little things. I have this beta container, which I use for my fish if one of them gets sick. Um, let's see. I pretty much went over everything. If you think I'm missing something, um, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure I got everything, probably more than you need. So, um, yeah, okay.